Good afternoon. Uh, it is uh, Tuesday, March 29th, about 5.30 p.m., and this is the Utilities Committee uh, of the Troy City Council. Uh, my name is Doug Tremblay. To my right is John Terwilliger, uh, and we are here to provide recommendations on two items. The first one is uh, concerning um, clarifiers at the wastewater treatment plant. Can you give us more information, Mr. Titterington? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is related to our wastewater plant. This is a 2016 budget item to replace uh, primary clarifier, uh, and we are asking for authorization to go out to bid uh, in the amount of $64,000, which is within the budget amount. We do not ask for emergency legislation. Okay. Do you have any questions, John? No. I have none either. Any members of council, <coughs> staff? What is your uh, move recommendation? Move, move forward. Yeah, we'll move forward, and there will be no uh, emergency on that item. Right. And the second item has to do with getting a uh, uh, electric uh, bid for supply and generation. This is a, uh, a form of aggregation uh, that we've done in the past. Uh, we are actually one of uh, about 20 communities across the Miami Valley that has been participating in a, uh, a I guess, a group bidding of electric uh, service for our municipal facilities. I uh, apologize, I do not have the uh, an exact or an estimated savings, although uh, for Troy specifically, but we have shared a significant amount of savings uh, or enjoyed, I, 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 we haven't shared it with anybody, but we've enjoyed that, which of course, uh, particularly with regards to our utility funds has saved us a significant amount of money. You will see from the uh, memo that um, for the last period, which I guess, I, I believe was a three year uh, agreement uh, the 20 communities uh, saved approximately $2.2 .2 million, some more, some less, but we, uh, we have certainly shared in some of that savings. Um, our agreement expires at the end of this year. However, the environment for uh, bidding uh, energy prices is probably the best that it's going to be all year. And so the executive director of the Miami Valley Communications Council which is the uh, entity that is would bid on our behalf uh, is recommending uh, along with their electric consultant that we all jump on board and go and go out to bid rebid um, sooner than later uh, and so we are asking that you authorize uh, MVCC its consultant to be our agents and also at the same time authorize us to execute an agreement Okay. Um, execute an agreement uh, once that uh, bid is is brought in or is, is awarded. Okay. And we are asking for an emergency because we do need to give them some guidance, MVCC, some guidance by May 1st. Okay. John, do you have any further questions? No, I don't. Uh, we're, so we're just going a little bit early because the time is right even though it wouldn't take effect till January 1st? Correct. Okay. Anyone else on council have any questions? Yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Phillips? Uh, does this allow any flexibility uh, with the volatility of rates increasing or decreasing? Uh, are there restrictions in any contract that would lock us in for a period of time? Any penalties if we try to get out of it to uh, go to a different provider or anything like that? Um, we would be locked in um, which is consistent with all of these kind of contracts. Um, there, I, you know, I, I don't have the exact components of this agreement. Um, I know it's extremely advent advantageous. Um, it is a, a locked in amount and it's typically a percentage under what the prevailing Market rates rate. are. And so we would be guaranteed that we would be under that. And this is a one-year agreement? This would be a three-year, three I believe, year. yes. Thank you. Thank you. 
Anyone else on council have any questions? Anyone on staff? John? I think to take advantage, move forward. With emergency? I agree, so let's move forward with emergency. Okay. Anything else to come before the utilities committee? No, sir. Is 